What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We finally have our 79 bike Falcon M back on the channel. As you can see, we have a ton of upgrades and modifications added to this bike and it's been a blast to ride the last couple months. Huge apology for the massive delay in getting more videos out on this bike. We've been slammed with other projects and kind of waiting for some stuff to get set up to be able to create these videos. So for this video, we're gonna be going over all the upgraded parts from Warp 9 Racing that fit on this bike. As you can see, there's a lot. A lot of parts from other specific bikes do mount up to here, but there's also a lot that don't. So let's get into the video. We'll talk about those things. We'll talk about how this bike's been and that our discount code still works to get you one. We're sorry about the huge delay on putting out videos on this bike. We do still have a range test coming. I know a ton of people are super interested in seeing that. It is coming soon, I promise. All right, really quick, if you guys have not seen the 79 bike Falcon M before, I will link our previous full review video down in the description. Please go watch that and you will learn a whole lot more about this bike. We do have a discount code, like I mentioned, it's $250 off plus free shipping. It's not gonna last super long and it's an incredible value. The price out the door right now is $4,250. And for a bike running eight kilowatts, 72 volt, it even comes with an app that you can customize some throttle settings and power numbers, which we'll show you later in today's video. It is an incredible value. It's lighter weight than a Stingar and it's a super fun bike to rip out on the trails. So now we're gonna go over all these upgraded parts and this sticker effects graphics kit that you can now buy for these bikes and show you what fits if you want to do some upgrades after you purchase one. All right guys, really quick, I just wanna make something clear that we've been getting some comments about how people feel like we were forcing them to buy things. We're not, we're just trying to give you guys all the info on comparing all these different bikes, all these different upgraded components to each other and trying to let you guys make the most informed decision possible. We do have discount codes and links to help you guys out, but that doesn't mean we're forcing you to buy it. We appreciate you guys' support and hope that you are able to build up a fantastic emoto that you're happy with. So we went down to Warp 9 Racing in Salt Lake and worked with them to test fit all of their parts to see what would work. And we walked out the door with a lot of parts that work perfectly on this bike. So to start off, the biggest things you're gonna notice is this rear wheel set. So this is your stock 19 inch wheel. This is an upgraded Warp 9 16 inch wheel with a huge fat moto tire on it. So this is the Shinko 525 cheater tire. It does fit clearance wise with their 16 inch wheel. It is nice and snug with the chain there and with your frame clearance, but it works just great and it's been a blast to ride. There's some other tire options that you can pick from, but so far, I think the wheels have made the biggest difference on this bike. So we opted to go with the 16 inch rear wheel size, but you can order an 18 inch rear wheel. This is another Warp 9 in the same configuration. So this is just gonna be a little bit bigger. It doesn't work with this exact tire. You have to run like this Dunlop MX-33, which is just ever so slightly narrower and smaller. It is a tight fit, but it does work. You can run an 18 rear and a 21 front. We opted for the 16 in the rear and the 19 in the front, upgraded with a much larger tire because we just felt that this bike benefited more from the smaller wheel set, but still having the ton of traction. It keeps it super playful and light feeling on the trail. So if you guys are wanting to purchase these wheels, they are Suron specific rear wheel axle spacing. So if you go on Warp 9's website, we'll have it linked down in the video description. There is a custom wheel builder and a 79 bike parts page where you can see all these parts and you'll know if you're on that page, all those parts in the category will fit on this bike. Now, if you're doing the custom wheel builder from Warp 9, you will either select 79 bike Falcon M as the type of wheels, or if they don't have that yet, select Suron Light B and your wheel spacing will fit in the back and it will fit in the rear. Again, we opted for the 16 inch in the rear, 19 in the front. We're gonna quickly show you this upgraded 19 inch wheel. They are the same size, but you can see our tire is much meatier, grippier, and it definitely has helped our traction. Paired to our rear wheel, we went with a 48 tooth Warp 9 rear sprocket. This is the same size as stock, but it's gonna be a lot lighter and a lot stronger. Oftentimes we go up in sprocket size when we do a new wheel set because we want more torque, but because this bike and motor has the most torque we've ever had on a stock bike, we did not feel like we needed to. We wanted to keep that same size. The chain is the same size as like a Serrano Tellari. It's a 420 
size moto chain and we just kept that the way it is. You can also upgrade your front sprocket through warp nine, but we did not feel like we needed to. We got plenty of torque. We've got it just where we want it to be. Let's spin the bike around and we're gonna look at the brakes. Let's talk about what brake setup we have going on here. So we have a few upgrades here. We swapped to a 220 mil brake rotor guard. So it covers your rotor here. We also switched to a 220 mil rear rotor instead of a stock 200 mil. Because of that, we have better braking performance, better braking cooling. In talking about brakes, these are gonna be your standard mountain bike style brakes. They do have upgradable brake pads. We'll have a link down in the description to MTX pads. That's our favorite upgrade for these brakes. If you want a full upgraded brake set, you can hit up Charge Cycle Works. We'll have a link in the description. Our favorite is the TRP DHR Evo brakes. They will mount right up to this system and they will work perfect with these 220 mil warp nine rotors. Now, talking about the rear rotor bolt pattern, on the stock wheel, it is the same as a Suron. So Talaria and Suron have different style spacing. This will be the same as a Suron. If you get warp nine wheels and you do it in their wheel builder, they will automatically come with a brake rotor and you can upgrade to this two piece if you would like. Now, on a warp nine rear wheel, it is the same bolt pattern as the front, which is gonna be your standard mountain bike style brake layout. On the front, we are running the same 220 mil upgraded front brake rotor. We have a 220 mil caliper adapter that spaces out our caliper to work with that. The front rotor is running the same bolt spacing as a Talaria, as a Suron. A lot of these typical mountain bike style front forks are gonna run that same kind. We do have a titanium bolt kit on the fork here. It is the same kit that runs on the DNM Volcano. We have these caps for our axle layer titanium and all these tie bolts as you move on up. We also have tie going up the fork. Working our way back, let's talk about upgraded pegs. So we have a couple different options here. If you are keeping your bike peg lower brackets the same as stock, you'll actually run a Talaria specific peg. So on Warp 9, they will have a Talaria version that you can pick from. If you want to run these peg lower kit and warp nine kickstand, you will be purchasing the Suron specific one. Again, it will be in that product category. And then you would run the Suron with pegs that mount to this bracket. Now the upgraded warp nine kickstand is, is necessary when you buy this kit, you have to buy the kickstand. It is adjustable. So if you're changing your wheel size, you can still get a perfect kickstand height. This peg lower bracket is not perfectly compatible yet. As you can see, they had to just Dremel just a slight notch right here. They are fixing that and the new version will be compatible with the Suron Light B and the Falcon for the same bracket. So check the description of this part and make sure that it has been adapted to fit. If not, if you want a Dremel, you can, but we don't necessarily recommend it. With this carbon cover, in our first video, this was rubbing on our belt drive, so we spaced it out with two little washers and now it no longer rubs. You can also put the Warp 9 chain drive kit on this, replace your belt with the chain. We had that chain drive on our bike. We took it off because it wasn't really necessary for the amount of stock power this bike has. Those are really nice if you're running a super high power bike and you don't wanna tear your belt. We also thought it was pretty dang loud and so we just didn't want our bike to necessarily be a screamer. But if you're doing a full on power build and you wanna have that reliability, that chain drive does fit perfectly. If we move up to linkages and to rear shock, this rear shock is the same as a Talaria, as a Suron, and you can upgrade this rear shock. Any of those will mount right up. Now, as far as linkages, these linkages look very similar to a Suron Light B, but they are not the same and they are not cross compatible. They do not fit. So you can't put Warp 9 upgraded suspension parts on this bike. Moving on to our front fork, we are actually really liking this fork. It is holding up to the test of time and feels really nice, even with these heavier duty upgraded wheels. Moving on up to the cockpit of the bike, we are running a Warp 9 stem lock. So when you use a direct mount spacer, this is nice. Keeps all your headset clamped together. Also running a Warp 9 bar mount. This does not fit perfectly with the stock display, but we were able to rig it up there. They are coming out, Warp 9 is, with a bracket to mount this screen on top of here in the future. We paired that with the three inch Warp 9 riser bar, which we think makes a huge difference on this bike. Super, super nice. We added Pro Taper pillow top grips here. It's a small price to pay to have just a lot more comfort on your bar. As you can see right here, we also have titanium bolts on our mount for our brake on both sides and we have the light switch from Warp 9 mounted up to this brake. So that will be in that product category. This light switch has the same style plug as a Suron or a Talaria MX3. So you can wire that in 
plug it right in along with headlights. Any headlight you buy that has a that is meant for a Suron will work on this bike and plug into this Warp 9 plug. Let's talk about this graphics kit. So this is kit is from Sticker Effects Graphics. We've been working with them for a long time. We have these kits on all of our bikes and they look excellent. You guys can go and pick a custom kit for the Falcon M now. We'll have a link down in the description. We do have a little discount code if you buy it from their website. Super fast shipping and we highly recommend them. We also have a video of how to install these kits that you will get. Time to mention a few things that don't fit on this bike that work for other bikes. So you guys will notice a lot of titanium hardware spread out around the bike. Warp 9 makes full titanium bolt kits for other models and some of those pieces fit, but not all of them. So there is not currently a full tie bolt kit for this bike. We move on down to the back here. You, you'll notice that there is no Warp 9 rear axle blocks or titanium axle. Those do not fit or work and they don't really have any plans to do that as of currently, maybe someday in the future. Again, the rear suspension linkages are not the same as a Suron and do not work. We don't know if the rear swing arm upgraded versions for Suron work. Um, we don't know if the seat is compatible with other models. Um, we do know that the front fender does work as that same three bolt pattern underneath as like a Talaria or a Suron. So you could swap that out if you wanted. Mentioning skid plate, it is not compatible with other models. However, it is literally the beefiest, stiffest skid plate we've ever seen on a stock bike. When we took it off to work on this bike and try some things out, super thick and beefy we move on to some power upgrades that are not compatible the controller has different wiring and plug layout than any other model so you cannot directly plug and play an upgraded controller to work with this bike at the moment if we talk about battery let's open this up because in our previous video you'll notice that this battery looks exactly like a talaria and has the same plug as a talaria for the moment so 79 bike has swapped out this pl plug on newer versions to a design that they feel is better. And while we had this plug, we swapped in our upgraded 72 volt batteries that are capable of a lot higher power. And we wanted to see if those would work with this stock controller. And the bike did run, but it did not work right and was not even near as fast as what it comes right here. So the controller is just not calibrated right for that setup. It's made for this battery. This is a 72 volt battery, but just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to buy this bike to do huge power upgrades, it's not time right now. It's just not ready. This motor, however, is an excellent motor. Very, very capable and very powerful. That kind of moves us in to what we can do with custom tuning on the app. I'll pull it out and show you guys what's possible. All right, let's go over this app. It has some basic setting changes that make a huge difference when buying this bike. And it's the only bike we know of right now that has an app where you can change this stuff. So we go in here, we can select 79 bike. You can actually see your real time speed, voltage, your amp draw, and your motor and controller temperatures, which is awesome. If you go over here to the settings page, we can go into function and you have, it shows four modes here, but we really have eco and they call it daily right here and then sport. Um, so eco, you can customize your speed setting, your current setting, which is how much power your controller is running your acceleration ratio, which is how many phase amps or torque your controller is running, and you can do your regen brake level. So you can customize all three modes. You can see we have Sport Plus turned all the way up on all of our categories, provides a ton of torque, but it's super cool because you can turn down that torque if you want, which is why we wanted to keep our stock sprocket and we can play with it this way. We didn't necessarily even need to change sprockets because we can do it through the app. If we go back, you can also toggle off you, all your sensors. So this bike comes with brake sensors. You can turn them off. You can turn off your fall sensor, which is when, it, basically we call it a tip over sensor. If you crash, it turns off your bike, which is a nice thing, but if you wanna turn it off, you can. We also have the kickstand switch you can turn off. Just basically all the safety settings you can change. So you can go from miles to kilometers, there's just some cool stuff in here. You can do gear ratio setting, just some of that kind of stuff that other bikes don't let you do. All right, we need to apologize again for the huge delay in creating videos on this bike. We still feel it is a totally relevant bike to purchase against today's competition, such as the Tulare Sting R and the E-Ride Pro SS that we've been testing. This still is a less expensive bike that provides very similar power numbers and has some features that those bikes just don't have. 
We do have a range test still coming. Sorry for the delay, it is coming and we expect this bike to have some pretty good range. We'll be swapping back to the stock wheels and tires so it's a true fair comparison. If you guys wanna purchase this bike, check that link in our description, use our discount code. It really is not gonna last forever with the free shipping and with the $250 off. This bike is a fantastic deal. Also, if you guys have noticed, we've been wearing some Tellari Boys merch in our recent videos. If you guys wanna support our channel, we do have Tellari Boys merch, a bunch of stuff to pick from. Check the link in our description as well. There's a lot of links in our description in this video, you guys, but huge shout out to Warp9, Sticker Effects Graphics. Use our discount code at Charge Psychworks if you want some brakes or some other parts that you don't see here. Get yourself some Tellari Boys merch. Get yourself a 79 Bike Falcon. You guys do whatever you want. We're not forcing you to do any of this. We're just giving you all the info that we have in testing all these bikes and parts against each other and kind of coming out with what might be best for this customer, what might be best for this customer. So if you want a Falcon M, go get yourself one. We appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you next video. See ya.